Hi there, in this video we're going to be talking about natural selection. So here we have a tree and around this tree we have a group of giraffes all going in for those delicious leaves. But notice that some giraffes have short necks whilst others have longer necks. Okay, that was quite interesting. Let's leave these giraffes to continue eating the leaves and we'll come back and see them later. So we've come back now after many years and now we notice that all of the giraffes have long necks. What happened to those short neck giraffes? Well, we're going to find out using natural selection. So first of all, we can see that the giraffes are not all the same size and this is due to mutations in their DNA. Then we have a selective pressure. That means something that threatens the survival of the population. It could be a lack of food, a predator, a pathogen such as a bacteria or virus, or a change in the environment. In this case, the short giraffes could not get enough food, so it was the lack of food that threatens the survival of this population. Now, some individuals have advantageous characteristics. For example, some giraffes have long necks, these individuals will survive, reproduce, and pass on their genes. Uh, not these kind of genes. These kind of genes. Unfortunately for the short ones, they're going to die. So this happens for several generations until the advantageous genes become more common. And then we get a population where most of the giraffes have long necks. Natural selection is also referred to as survival of the fittest. Okay, let's repeat that five step combo and use this as a guide whenever you're answering a natural selection question. So the first thing you wanna say is that there's variation in the population and that is due to mutations in the DNA. Step two, then we talk about the selective pressure. So was it a predator, lack of food or prey, or could it be a pathogen? Or could it be a change in the environment? For example, the environment is very cold or maybe the animal's more visible to predators, so they have to camouflage. Now this is probably the hardest part of the question, so you have to really think, what is threatening the animal? Some individuals will have advantageous genes or features. Step four, they will survive, reproduce, and pass on their genes. Make sure you say all three of them. And step five, over several generations, the advantageous gene becomes more popular or common. Now remember, this is just a general guide. You're going to have to apply it to the given scenario. So let's try an exam question. Pause the video and read the question. Once you're ready, press play so that we can go through the answer together. So it says in Scotland, where the weather is cold, we can find larger voles compared to southern France, where the weather is warm and we have smaller voles. Explain how natural selection has caused the voles in Scotland to become larger in size. So here's our chance to use the five step combo. Now the first thing is we're going to say that there was variation due to mutations. Step two, what is threatening the voles in Scotland? It says that the weather was cold. So what does that mean? It means that larger voles which lose less heat are better insulated. Step three, Larger voles have a small surface to area volume ratio or have more fat. That is the advantageous gene. So these voles will survive, reproduce or breed and pass on their genes. And there you have it. Natural selection in five easy points. Hey guys. If that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.